what's going on guys, it's Jay Mass, and I'm back again with another dope New England adventure. You know, it's a very cold morning today, very brisk outside, but I think that's gonna fit in perfectly with the theme of the abandoned place we're gonna be checking out today. So I'm currently in the small town of Dummerston, Vermont, that's not too far away from the city of Brattleboro, right along the Vermont, New Hampshire state border. And I'm actually gonna be checking out a former ski resort. That's right, we're currently standing in front of Maple Valley Ski Area here in Dummerston, Vermont. Now, Maple Valley Ski Area first opened up to the public in 1963, with the first season being 1963 to 1964. And the ski resort operated for many, many decades. However, by the 1980s and 1990s, that's when they really began to experience issues, financial problems, stagnation. And by the year 2000, it officially closed down with their last ski season being the 99-2000 ski season. Now, there's been many talks about what's gonna happen with the ski resort. It seems like the most likely solution is that they're gonna convert this into an event venue slash brewery. But as of right now, the Maple Valley ski area is still officially abandoned, although it is under new ownership. As a result, I'm probably not gonna be going inside of this building behind me. That's the actual ski resort building. It's completely closed, and again, it's privately owned, so I'm not gonna be going inside. However, I am gonna be showing you guys the exterior uh, of this former ski resort. I've driven by this thing many times, always found it fascinating, and there's a lot of remnants of when it was once a thriving ski resort. So why don't you guys join me as we check out the Maple Valley Ski Area here in Dummerston, Vermont, that operated between 1963 to the year 2000. As always guys, my name is Jay Mass. If you love urban exploration, checking out abandoned sites, and exploring New England, I'm always doing that on the channel. So, you know, feel free to subscribe, it's free. Or you can follow me on Instagram, at jmassofficial, that's at jmassofficial. But we're gonna get right into it and check out Maple Valley Ski Area, as you can see with the sign behind me, here in the town of Dummerston, Vermont. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started and explore the Maple Valley Ski Area here in Dummerston, Vermont. Now, as you can see, there are quite a few remnants left behind. This is the main thing that always stuck out to me, the sign that's been left behind. Of course, you can see it clearly states Maple Valley Ski Resort, complete with the ski shop, rentals. And this, of course, was the major building itself, which had the ski shop, it had um, a restaurant, all kinds of other stuff, a lounge. So this was the primary building itself and the sign that's left behind. Now there's a few other pretty cool things. Um, you'll see that there's a massive pipe right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this was actually for pedestrians to walk through. So the ski resort is located right nearby a major highway right here. You can see major highway. And there's actually overflow parking on the other side of this tunnel. Now I'm not gonna walk through um, for obvious reasons but this used to carry pedestrians from the overflow parking all the way over here to the Maple Valley ski area. It's a really cool looking place as you can see, this closed down in 2000, pretty much been vacant and unused ever since. Although there are some serious talks about converting this into an active um, proprietorship once again. It looks like it's most likely gonna become a brewery or an event venue or a mix of the two. Side note, I do have to mention, I feel like there's been so many breweries popping up lately. <laughs> I feel like I'm constantly seeing new breweries and stuff popping up here in New England. I, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I've been seeing that a lot. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the uh, main building right here. Again, I'm not going to be able to go inside. Uh, I just can't do that without getting into, into trouble. But I will show you guys some close-ups. Maybe we can peer inside the windows at least. I just definitely can't go inside. But I did just want to show you that pretty cool looking building. So as you guys can see right here, this is the major sign located here on the front facade of the ski building. And you can see that they're advertising different businesses. I don't actually think these businesses were located in this building itself. I could be wrong. I do know this had a restaurant and a lounge and stuff, but I think they're more so advertising um, other businesses nearby. However, this sign is also showing off the many trails here at the ski area. And I'll kind of zoom in a bit. You can see those are all of the trails. Now, I have to admit, I'm not a skier myself. I've never been skiing. I do find it interesting. I've just never been skiing myself. But when you go skiing, there's different levels of skiing. Every trail has a different challenge level. I think there's like beginner, intermediate, hard. I know there's just different uh, levels to skiing. But those are all the trails here on the mountain. 
part of the Maple Valley ski area. And of course, the building itself. Again, not gonna go inside, though I'll give you a really brief look at what's going on. See if we can peer in really quick. Oh, what's going on in here? So this looks like some sort of office building. That's kind of cool. What's going on in here? Yeah, another sort of office building right here. Oh, look at that. Maple Valley Ski Area Grand Reopening. Huh. So maybe they were going to reopen at some point. Who knows? And I think that's... Is that about it that we can see? Okay, there's one more window here. Let's peer in really briefly. I can't even see in this one. The window is just too faded, you know what I mean? But yeah, pretty cool. This is the uh, Maple Valley Ski Area Ski Lodge right here. Pretty dope. Kind of a shame we can't go inside. I wish we could. I'd love to explore the interior. I bet there's so many artifacts and records and stuff, but did just want to show you the exterior. All right, this is really dope. This is honestly what I was most excited for. These are the abandoned ski lifts right here. So if you were a skier coming to Maple Valley Ski Area, ready to go up the mountain, go down the trail, you would of course have to come to the ski lift. And you can see they have a lot of remnants left behind. Remove pole straps from wrists until unloaded. Pretty sick. Again, this is privately owned, not gonna go much farther. But I do wanna show you guys, really cool. They actually have some ski lifts still there. Um, pretty cool, still hanging on this uh, rope right here. Now this is the, uh, I don't know the terminology for it, the uh, spinny thing, whatever it's called. So the ski lifts would come down the rope, they would spin around here, go back the other way, and then there was probably a line here of skiers who would come in to be loaded onto the benches, lift it up from the other side, they would come down from the benches, unload themselves. So really cool, this is, um, yeah, this is the ski lift right here, the ski lift machine. I believe this is one of two. I think there's actually another one all the way over there. I'll see if I can check that one out after, but yeah, this is the uh, one of two ski lifts right here. You know, let's see if we can take a closer look at these benches. I would be interested to see. Ah, oh, check this out, this is so cool. So these are the benches you would sit on as a skier. You can actually see, here's one of them right now. Pretty cool. So you could sit right there. Again, I've never been skiing before, but I have been on ski lifts many times. They're a lot of fun, I love them. Really cool to see though. Yeah, the front end of the machine, that's dope. What is this building right here? So this was probably the operator's booth. Maybe the uh, operator of the ski lift was stationed here. Let's see if we can peer inside. <clears throat> Move the stick. Yeah, so this was probably the operator's booth if I had to guess. Maybe storage, not really sure. Some sort of shed. Yeah, fascinating. All right, so I'm not gonna go much farther than this, but I really quickly just wanna show you the other ski lift right here. So you can kind of see the ropes all the way over there. This one doesn't have any benches attached to it, but the machine is still there all the way over there. That's the machine where skiers would be loaded and unloaded onto the benches going up the mountain, ready to ski. Although, as I mentioned, this one doesn't have any benches left behind, just the ropes and the machine. It's also a couple random buildings around here, although we can't peer in there. But again, trying not to be too nosy here. And this is a side view of the ski lodge itself. Really cool. So I don't know too much what was going on in this building. I do know there was a restaurant. I know there was a rental shop, a ski shop. I mean, a lounge, like your standard ski lodge building. Um, of course, this operated between 1963 and 2000. So there were many, many decades of skiers coming here and enjoying the ski resort. I'm sure it was a great place, especially in the winter. Probably a lot of fun to come here. Sure, a lot of people have uh, pretty good memories of the Maple Valley ski area. But I will say I am glad that they're getting ready to turn it into another operating business because it's always a shame to see major abandoned locations like this just left to rot or neglected or selfishly held on to by owners. I'm glad they're at least making an effort to convert it into something else. So it gets a second wind, you know what I mean? So that's really cool. But yeah, this was the Maple Valley ski area. I'm sorry I couldn't go inside. I know normally in my videos, 
I do like to go inside, give you guys a more uh, tangible view of these places, but I still want to show it off. I always found this to be a really fascinating abandoned location. Driven by here so many times. I don't know, it's such a cool spot. But yeah, Maple Valley Ski Area. Of course, right by the highway. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been J-Mass as always, and this has been another dope New England adventure. So today we checked out the Maple Valley Ski Area here in the town of Dummerston, Vermont. Really cool abandoned spot. As you can see, we got the massive ski lodge behind me and a lot of cool remnants from the sign to the two ski lifts, a lot of other buildings and sheds. It's a pretty cool place. Um, obviously this has been abandoned for about 23 years now, although there have been some serious efforts to convert this into another business, most likely a brewery. Um, but it'll be cool to see what happens to this place. I know all of the uh, changes are up in the air right now. They're still going through, you know, legal jargon and stuff. But again, it'll be cool to see what happens here. But I did just want to show you guys the Maple Valley Ski Area before those changes commence while it was still abandoned. It's a really cool spot. Um, I bet if I was a skier back in the day, I would have loved to go to this place. Um, again, it opened up in 1963 with the first ski season being 1963 to 1964 operated until the year 2000 with the last ski season being 1999 and 2000 but it had many fruitful decades um yeah it's pretty cool to check out with you guys as always guys my name's jay mass if you love urban exploration checking out abandoned sites travel in new england feel free to subscribe to the channel or you can follow me on instagram at jay mass official that's at jay mass official but i've been jay mass as always this was the maple valley ski area here in dummerston vermont and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.